Now the first step is to go to settings and then go to network over here and you can disable this Europe network. You can turn this off and then at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can check. If that does not work you can disable you can turn off all the regions except United States. So you can keep United States on rest you can disable and then you can check. Or you can uh, select keep your region if you are in Asia you can uh, keep Asia on and rest you can disable. So you can try to disable uh, regions and then you can check. If that does not hit apply and then check if that does not work you can reset to defaults and then you can check. Now still not working the next step is to disconnect and reconnect Wi-Fi. So at the bottom right here you can see the Wi-Fi icon. Uh, you can just simply disconnect or you can simply turn off the Wi-Fi, turn on the data once again, uh, Wi-Fi once again, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network. And then you can check. If that does not work, you can even use phone hotspot. So you can turn on the data on the phone, turn on the hotspot on your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now uh, you can connect to your phone network so over here you can if you see your phone network you can connect to your phone network and then check still not working the next step is to turn off or turn on vpn so if you're using vpn you can turn it off and then close vpn and then check you can even turn it on and then try both and then check next step is to perform power cycle now for this shut down your computer and then after you shut down your computer uh, unplug the power cable from the computer, turn off the Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router, connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Still not working. Try Google DNS server. Now for this you can type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, go to network and internet, in network and sharing center and then click on your internet over here, go to properties, Select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. Now over here uh, you can type in 8 for, for preferred DNS server type in 8888 and for alternate type in 44 sorry 8844 and then validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this and then you can relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, you can try this server. Now for this again you can click on the internet over here and then go to properties and again select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on properties and this time uh, you can select use following DNS server address preferred DNS server type in 1111 and then for alternate you can type in 1001 and then again validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, again click on the internet over here and then go to properties scroll down over here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit ok and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, once you're done playing the game, like once you're done playing the game, you can put a check on Internet Protocol version 6 once again and then check. Now still not working. If you're already trying manual DNS server, in that case, you can select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then properties. And if it is already set to manual, you can put a check on obtain DNS server automatically over here. Click on OK and then relaunch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this you can make a right click on the game, manage browse local files and then you can make a right click over here, run the game as an administrator and then check if that does not work. You can even make a right click on the, this exe file, run as administrator and then check. Still not working. Uh, open OPP folder binaries win64, make a right click on this exe file, select properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to 
allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app over here browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so open the game folder select start protected game exe file click on open again browse and then select the game exe file over here click on open again add an allowed app browse all apps open opp folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file all the exe file click on add in my case it is already added allow another app once again browse select this exe file click on open click on add again it is already added allow another app once again browse open opp binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game again and then check now, similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all the exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once this is done, restart again here. And after the system restart, you can launch the game still not working the next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cab cable uh, you can use the wired connection and then check next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically if this is off you can turn it on also set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then at the bottom scroll down click on sync now if you receive any errors in red color click on sync now multiple times once you see the tick go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the last step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel